Hello guys, welcome back. This is Modern Man MTG here today, and today we are playing Mono White Death and Taxes. This is similar to the Eldrazi and Taxes deck, but you're not really playing any Eldrazi in the deck. Um, you're just playing good value white creatures, and you're just playing to beat people down, you know, with like cards like Selfless Spirit to uh, keep you guys from dying to wrath, Stalias to tax your opponents, and good old Sarah Avenger. Haven't seen that card in a while, have you? Kitchen Finks, Flicker Wisp, Blade Splicer, Restoration Angels. And just things like that. And for the sideboard, we just have a lot of controly cards. We have Ratchet Bombs for token decks, anything like that. Any uh, Chalice of the Void, um, EE, Engineered Explosives, cards like that. Core Firewalker for red decks. Um, Stony Silence for Affinity or any combo artifacts decks. Uh, we got one off Spirit of the Labyrinth to stop any deck that's uh, abusing draw cards, draw spells. Um, Selfless Spirits to protect for, from more Wraths. Rest in Peace to beat... Um, any dredge decks that are still lingering around, Goryeo's Vengeance, um, any Goyf decks really too, Blessed Alliance is good against Infect and Death Shadow, Sun Lance is good against any Weenie deck, that's not white, and then we have Relics to catch any like Snapcaster, Goyf, or Dredge deck, but let's go ahead and hop into a game and let's see how well this deck does. I haven't actually got a chance to test this deck out yet, so, oh, that's not the right deck, I apologize, no. Let's try it again. I hate when I do that to people. I feel so bad. Thought I quit. I definitely did quit. I apologize. I don't recommend doing that. But for this video, I'm going to have to do it. Let's try again. Let's play the right deck. We do not want to play Grixis Delver again. And it's the same guy, you know? Nothing, nothing hurt. What do we have? We have a bunch of good cards. A bunch of value good cards. We have... Yeah, this hand's fine. We'll try it. We don't really have a um, Thalia, which would make this hand a lot better, but... we got castable spells. Foil Scalding Tarn for the opponent. Interesting. Interesting. Is it the modern? Oh, it's Zendikar, too. Original Zendikar. Can't cast that card, so let's play a turn one Thraben Inspector. Pass turn. Bet you, card, bet you guys didn't plan on seeing that in Modern either, did you? I really like this card. I mean, it's just a good value one, too. I mean, it replaces itself. Gives you account to Metalcraft if that's what you're uh, wanting to do. We did not draw a land, unfortunately. So we're going to attack. Thraben Inspector. We still have a turn draw a land. Play Tech Edge. Cast Self the Spirit. Cracks their Feshal Land. Probably got a Mana Leak or a Remand. Might be playing against the Blue Red Storm deck. Yeah, that's a Hollow Fountain. Maybe Jeskai Control. Still get Remanded. Sure. Opponent plays a Flooded Strand. Cracks their Flooded Strand. What do you got? Jeskai Ascendancy. Is that a card people still play? I have a couple Jeskai Ascendancy decks on my decks to build list like uh the combo deck and then there's like a jeskai ascendancy um what's the word i'm looking for jeskai ascendancy token deck it's also pretty interesting that i've thought about putting together attack with the thraben inspector one is already down to 13 so now we just have to decide which card is i'm not as worried about mm -hmm. Uh, they know about Selfless Spirit, so I feel like I'll just cast that. We got a Mana Leak or another Remand? Another Remand, sure. So it didn't matter what I was going to cast there. Um, so there's no reason to give my opponent extra information. Just something to keep in mind. What does my opponent have? Nahiri? It is in Nahiri. So now we can cast something. What that something is, I don't know. Apparently, we need three Restoration Angels in our life. Um, this goes off next turn, which is unfortunate. Hmm. Could play a Kitchen Finks and hope they don't have a Wrath. Play Sarah Adventure just for the sheer power, but I think we're just going to play the Kitchen Finks. Do you want to take Nihiri or the opponent? We'll take Nihiri. Just in case everything goes wrong next turn. 
I'm gonna play Kitchen Finks, gain some life, pass turn. This deck functions a lot better if you have like an Aether Vial. I've played this deck in Legacy when it was a big Legacy deck. Put up, ticks up their Nahiri. Discards a Lightning Bolt. They're discarding Bolt. I'm wondering what they have. Um, so I think we're just going to attack both at Nahiri. Well, I probably should have played a land first. Oh well. Lightning Helix? Yeah, probably wasn't going to Restoration Angel blame that. Lightning Bolt? Uh, that's fine. Get a do get a counter. Gain two more life. The question is, am I more worried about a Wrath? They don't have double white. So I actually think I just want to play more dudes. And I guess Self of Spirit protects against that as well. Pass turn. Picks up their Nahiri, discards a Flooded Strand, plays another Sulphur Falls. We got a Chandra. Chandra would be annoying. Electrolyze. Ah, oh, crap, I have sixth. Dang it. Dang it. Uh, well, I think we're going to lose to an Emrakul. But, let's make sure that's what they're doing in their deck. There's the Surgeon for the Emrakul. You have it, and you do. Well, this is a, I don't think this is a really great matchup for us, as it turns out. Um, yes, I did F6 there, but I don't know if it's actually going to matter. Probably would have a little bit, but, you know, it is what it is. So I like cutting, bringing in more Selfless Spirit, Spirit of the Labyrinth. Um, rest in peace, maybe. Maybe relics as well. Cards I don't like against my opponent. Not too impressed by paths. Probably cut those. Um, and then we need to cut two more cards. I like Thalia. Plate Spicer's fine. Restoration Angel seems good. Thraven Inspector seems alright. Um, we can trim a Flicker Wisp. Let's go ahead and trim two Flicker Wisps. Do I really need Rest in Peace? No, I don't think I need Rest in Peace just for um, the maybe they have a Snapcaster. So let's just bring in a, a, another Flicker Wisp and we'll try it like this. and see how this goes for us. Hopefully better than the first game. Hopefully this time I don't F6, you know, when I can sack my selfless spirit. They probably had another removal spell anyways, I hope. I would like to play first. I cannot th keep a three ghost quarter hand. I got a turn one vial, that's fine. And a turn one Thraben Inspector. Yeah, I'll keep that. That's fine. Cast Aether Vial, pass turn. We really need a second white source to cast this Kitchen thing sometime. So next turn we can vial in the Thraben Inspector and then sack the clue as well. Seems like an alright play. I would like to use Aether Wild's ability. Play the Ghost Quarter. Pass turn. Sulfur Falls. Something I also need to get in the habit of on online is pump faking with the Aether Vial. You should always do that. I would like to use Aether Vile's ability, put in Thraven Inspector, get a get a clue, sack the clue. Wombo combo, guys. Oh. Oh, wait a second. I would like to put a counter on it. Hmm. That's pretty good. Let's go and attack with a Thraven Inspector. Now we gotta decide do we want to hit the red or the white? I actually think I'd rather hit the red because that has more spot removal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's. And 
hopefully that'll get us there. Oh, my opponent just scoops it up. Well, sometimes you beat them with the ghost quarter. You know what I'm saying? So, what are we going to draw after that? I keep saying you know what I'm saying. You guys got to stop me. You got to stop me. That and unfortunate. Let's try like this again. See if we can catch our opponent off guard with the uh, ghost quarter with the Leon and Arbiter off the vial. My opponent has Mulligan the six cards. Sand seems all right. Not great, but uh, we have a turn one Thraben Inspector, so that's pretty good. Opponent kept their hand. Put a card on bottom. Okay, so that most likely means they're looking for a land. I guess it didn't matter. They got a Cracked Scalding card anyways. Probably a Serum Visions. They bottom both, so it does seem like they're looking for a land. So play a Thraben Inspector, get a clue, pass turn. Serum Visions again. I really hope my opponent doesn't just scoop it up and they don't find their land. That would be not fun for me. Bottom. Bottom bottomed again. Okay, they got a Glacial Fortress at least. They got a third Serum Visions. Okay. They got a bottom bottom again. Topped. Top topped. Okay. That makes up for all the bottom bottoms, I'm guessing. Interesting. That is an interesting card. I'm probably not playing it this turn. I'm probably playing Selfless Spirit. There goes the 16. Cast another Selfless Spirit. I apologize about that. I did not realize I said stopped recording. So what happened was my opponent played a Steam Vents untapped and cast a Timely Reinforcements. So now they're up to 19. I played a Leon and Arbiter. And now we're going to Ghost Quarter away their White Source. And attack for two in the air. Cause a 17. We're going to pass turn. We drew a tech edge as well, so that's pretty good. We have an arid mesa, which is kind of like a white source. Okay, so they're going to crack their mesa so they can fetch a land. They go to 16. Probably going to path my Leona Arbiter. Go to 14. Serum Visions. That's a lot of Serum Visions my opponent has played, and a lot of life they paid so they can get a Hallowed Fountain. They top topped. Sure. Draw another Ghost Quarter. Another Ghost Quarter. Come on. Another Ghost Quarter. It's a Flickerwisp. Huh. Do I care about a Flickerwisp? Gets me another clue if I'm interested in that. And I know for sure we're attacking with our Selfless Spirit. Falls to 12. I think we'll just go ahead and play the Blade Splicer. Pass turn. What does the opponent have? Uh, sack this, give my guys indestructible. draws a card. Played their fourth land. That's an interesting. I didn't think they would, knowing that I have a tech edge. So we're going to play our land. We're going to tech edge their Celestial Colonnade. Attack for three with our 3-3 three, First three Striker. Opponent chump blocks. Sure. Cast Selfless Spirit. Pass turn. Oh, it has another Celestial Colonnade. He bolts the Selfless Spirit. Give everything indestructible. So what this most likely means is my opponent's going to Wrath next turn. If that's the case, I'm probably turning all of my dudes sideways. 
depending on what we draw. That's a good one. Um, so by all, what I mean by all of my dudes, I mean just those. Put the block, block. Take one. Is one damage worth it? If I think my opponent's going to wrath, I think it is. We'll attack like that. Because if they don't wrath, I want my blade slicer still to stay in play. If they block blocked, it means they are wrathing. They're not block blocking. Interesting. Opponent takes one, they go to 11. I'm going to play this ghost quarter. I mean, i got to play it if they're going to wrath because I'm going to blow up one of their lands. Are they going to Nahiri here? Anger. Okay, so let's go ahead and ghost quarter their Celestial Colonnade. Sure, we lose all of our dudes. End step, sack a clue. Draw another planes, that's not great. Sarah Avenger, on the other hand, is fine. I do appreciate me a Sarah Avenger. Play the Sarah Avenger past turn. What does the opponent have? A Nahiri? That'd be unfortunate. There's the Nahiri. It's not great. Hell just made that noise. Whatever. So I think we're gonna attack my opponent, then flicker whisper Nahiri. Seems fine. Attack the opponent, they go to eight. Play Seagate Wreckage, cast Flicker Wisp. Flicker their Nahiri. Pass turn. Opponent ticks up their Nahiri. Discards a Celestial Colonnade. First time they discarded a, a Nahiri. Bolt the Sierra Avenger. They have a Electrolyze for the Flicker Wisp. Be very unfortunate. They do. Well, this hand's not looking great, or this game's not looking so great for us anymore. Uh, I guess we could just Flicker Wisp the Nahiri again. Bolt the Flicker Wisp? Sure. Whatever. Can't really stop you from doing that, opponent. Ticks up their Nahiri. Discards a path. What did they draw? What do they want? Path seems very good there. What do you want to draw? It's better than path. Seems confusing. Sack the clue. Drew a planes. We're not going to play it. Pass turn. Wouldn't mind drawing a... Colorless source wing Seagate Wreckage. Actually, I probably should have played my land. Uh, just in case I drew like a Tech Edge or a Ghost Hoarder or something. Takes up their Nahiri. This card's EE. -E. Sure. See, now we drew a Tech Edge. Now I can't activate the Seagate Wreckage. What is the opponent having a Snapcast? That's a pretty good one. Play the Tech Edge, pass turn. Um, that was just a little cleanup. Like I told you guys, I've never um, played this deck before. Unfortunately, you misplay sometimes. Opponent 
ultimates are Nahiri, which means they probably kept the Rimrakul in, and that means we go to scoop phase. As always, guys, if you like the content, remember to like the video, comment down below any suggestions you have for the deck, for the gameplay, any cards you put in the deck, any decks you want to see, anything like that. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more awesome content like this every day. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow, and I hope you guys have a good night. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.